guys and welcome back. How are you all doing today? Good? Bad? Some in So today I'm gonna do another hotel review video. I have been really late with this. I know I kind of forgot a little bit about it and I haven't gotten around to make it, but I'm going to do it now. When I was at VidCon in the States last year, we stayed at the Majestic Garden Hotel. I have it written down here, that's the reason why I'm looking there. <laughs> we stayed there from the 21st of June to the 24th of June. So as I always do before starting these videos, I'm going to show you a clip of how it looks like. So we just made it to the hotel. This is a lot bigger than the other ones. This is a lot more expensive. Yeah, than that is. Hotel. This is an actual hotel, yeah. Everything well, last. It's not that more, more expensive per night, though. It's not terribly much. No. It's like 100 kilometers, maybe. I think it's a little more, but not. Yeah. Too bad. Ridiculous. Yeah, no. a lot more. For a hotel instead of a motel, yeah. it's good. It's kind of the average. Yeah. yeah. So Price we have two quite big beds. Yeah. And the TV and the desk that I should have edited on, but probably I'm not gonna edit. <laughs> and in here is some storage area and the bathroom. A bathtub. All right, so let's get back to the prices of the hotel. So since we stayed there in VidCon, of course, going to be a little bit more expensive and we were really last minute of booking it. We paid um, $593 for three people from the 21st of June to the 24th of June. I would say it was quite a decent price for the hotel considering how late we booked it and there was quite a lot of events going on that time. Um, so that I double checked how much it cost like regularly and it was like around 100 and. $18 per night uh, with three people. That's what I looked at. So the Majestic Garden Hotel is like a Disney friend hotel. That basically means like they're they're not a Disney hotel, but they're like a friend of the Disney hotel. And uh, so they had like the free shuttle service, which was really, really nice, especially for my friends who were going to Disney when I was going to VidCon. Um, for me, I did ended up taking Uber since we actually we ended up de delivering our car, so we didn't have a car when we were there. Because it costs uh, eighteen dollars per night to have a car there, which I think is a bit expensive. Um, but if you need to have it, you need to have it. If you know what I mean. They had the option of a free shuttle to Disney, so and. Uh, I could have taken the shuttle to Disney and then walked to the Anaheim Convention Center, but it didn't always match with uh, when I was uh, gonna be there. And uh, it was a little bit hard to find because it was kind of in the middle of like a roundabout, kind of. So when uh, I was like adding it on like Google Maps, it wasn't always that easy to find. But when you first find it, you, you know where it is. Um, I had some problems with it, like Uber couldn't find it with like driving in circles, but <laughs> it has like one entrance and it's showing you another entrance, so yeah. The hotel was really clean and also really big. It was definitely one of the more like proper hotels we stayed at during our road trip. Well, it was one of the more like hotels we actually booked that was nicer, so. <laughs> but um, the rooms were really big and the beds were like in a decent size, especially when you're sharing a bed. And it had a desk and uh, a big uh, bathroom, which is really nice. Uh, the only thing that I have to say is like the internet was not the best. Uh, and that's because it was open internet. Uh, the Wi-Fi was open, so everyone could use it. And since the hotel was so big, we kept on like um, getting kicked off the Wi-Fi all the time, but at the same time it was a free Wi-Fi, so I can't really complain that much. Um, but I do wish it wasn't an open Wi-Fi in the rooms, and I'd rather be like an open Wi-Fi in the reception. But then it might have cost money, and I wouldn't like that either, so... <laughs> so, you know. Um, and I did have a, sometimes a little bit of problems with finding my room, because it was really like a maze sometimes. <laughs> But they did give a description of where the room was there down the reception. They even asked me in the reception one time if I needed help finding my room. And I was like, no, I'm fine. And like, I got up to the, my like floor. I had no idea where my room was. Luckily, there was um, a cleaning lady there. She was able, able to help me find my room. Because <laughs> that would be an awkward uh, conversation to get go back down to the reception. So like, yeah, you know how you asked me 10 seconds ago if um, I needed help? And I said, no, I actually do need help. So... <laughs> 
since it's such a big hotel, there was a lot of hallways and I don't think the markings was the best all the time to find the room. Um, the breakfast was not included, especially in our tickets. I think you probably can book it, including in, the, in your room, but we didn't have that because we didn't know if we were going to eat breakfast every single day. I did eat breakfast one day there. I think I paid like $18 for breakfast. It's a buffet. is quite big. I think you can choose between the breakfast and just like one um, plate or something. Um, it's a little bit expensive but at the same time it was a decently sized uh, breakfast. Like there was a lot to choose in between and I had coffee and tea so if you want a breakfast one day it's always nice to like just stay at the hotel and relax a little bit. I think that's just about covers it. It, it was a nice hotel, definitely clean. Um, Decent price, a little bit more of the expensive side, of course, because it's a because it, this is actually like a real hotel. Uh, it's not like a roadside motel, so I understand why it's like a little bit more expensive, and it is quite close to the Disney parks. Um, the Wi-Fi is free, not the best Wi-Fi, but it works. The beds are comfortable to sleep in, and uh, the rooms are quite big. Uh, they had a pool, we didn't go into it, but they had a pool there and the outside area was beautiful. The parking wasn't free but a lot of hotels in like that area doesn't really have free uh, free parking so what you're gonna do? <laughs> so if you are staying in that area I would probably recommend like if you have a possibility to like just hand in the car in a time that you're staying there and maybe like rent a new car. I don't know it depends on you how you want to do it and how many days you're staying there. For a VidCon hotel I've I think I would like hopefully be able to get a closer hotel because I had to take an Uber every single day. That's gonna take a lot more time sometimes, but it works. Um, you can just take an Uber. It take, took about 10 to 15 minutes with the Uber if I don't remember completely wrong. And um, I didn't see anywhere I could walk from the hotel to the uh, to the Bitcoin area. I think like when I googled it, it's head somewhere you could walk, but I couldn't see it. And it was like a lot, uh, just roads um, on the side of the hotels, uh, on the side of the hotel, so. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will answer it in the comment section below. If you'd like to see me make more of these types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything else you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys, hopefully soon.